check, check, check one, two. This is going to be a microphone comparison between the Rode NT1 and the NTG1. The NT1 is my standard one I'm using here with the pop filter. It's the one inch condenser jobby. I usually have it sitting right between me and the screen. So I'm looking at the screen now. Check, check, check one, two. Background noise. About minus 54 dB. I can still hear some aircon from next door. Uh, but minus 54 and then peaking about minus 15, minus 12 maybe according to the XSplit VU meter. Uh, I'm also using the Shure input uh, high pass filter as well. I think that's about 80 hertz or something like that. So I'm going to now switch over. I'm using the Focusrite Solo uh, with my standard uh, position at about 11 o'clock on my input gain. Switching mics now. Check one, two. Okay, I'm now using the NTG 1A. A little bit lower. Background noise. Yeah, it's down around minus 60. It's off because it's it's further away. In fact, this is it here. It's further away. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that gain up a bit until the background noise is the same. There you go, minus 54 dB, background noise, and the peaks are about the same now. Minus 15, minus, oh yeah, it's roughly equivalent. So now the good thing about having it up here is that, uh, well, A, I'm not going to get any uh, a pop, even though I have a pop filter here, I'm not going to, a pop filter, I'm not going to get any uh, plosives um, coming through there, and I'm not going to accidentally bump the thing because it's on a right angle um, stand like this, which stands on the floor, which is really annoying. Uh, so, yeah, um, so I'm trying the NTG1 shoddy, which is right next to my camera. It is in shot, but I can move it out a bit. And the good thing about this is it doesn't matter whether or not I'm looking at the screen like this, doing my voiceovers on the screen, or I'm looking up at the camera like this, whereas it matters with the microphone down here because I'm now pointing down towards the screen, so it's going to be louder and then pointing up. So this is the NTG1A. Let me know what you think about the differences. I think I did try this once, and the, uh, the NTG1A should sound exactly like the NTG1. Um, sorry, the NT1A. Yes, the NTG. Very confusing. Who bloody developed those? model numbers. Ridiculous. Anyway, um, yeah, the uh, the shoddy, uh, this should feel a little bit more distant. The NT1 uh, desktop one right next to me should feel a bit like uh, it should be bassier, should have a bassier response, but hopefully the shoddy up there should be good and it should be more tolerant of talking between the camera and the screen. And that's what I want. I don't want the variability in there. So I'm now going to take a look at waveforms. All right, I'm now in my video editor, uh, but well, the old Vegas video editor. Yes, I am actually uh, using DaVinci Resolve now uh, for a good lot of my videos. I'm still sort of like mixing between the two because uh, Vegas is still better for more complicated stuff like that that I know how to do on there and I haven't learned on DaVinci Resolve yet, but DaVinci Resolve is okay, but it's a two-step rendering process. I d look, they both have their pros and cons, and uh, for generating thumbnails and things like that, I'm still using Vegas, actually, to generate my thumbnails and uh, doing screen captures and thumbnails and uh, just overlay stuff is just a bit better. But anyway, still using both. Anyway, I've had a listen to both of these, and sure enough, so here's the actual uh, waveform uh, down here. So this was uh, the NT1A. That was the, um, you know, the one inch condenser desktop on the stand. And this was the NTG shotgun. And yeah, uh, this one sounds closer and more intimate. There's more of a bass response um, in it. You can go back and have a listen. Okay, that was weird. I had a problem with my Focusrite um, Scarlet Solo there. It just, it would not play back. I had to disconnect it and reconnect it. I I don't know. It, 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 it just died. It wouldn't play back anything. And not just from XSplit. It was from YouTube, the whole, like my entire system. Anyway, now I'll play some back. Um, yeah, the speakers are off, so it won't feed back. So hopefully you can hear this. 
uh, but minus 54 and then peaking about minus 15 minus 12 maybe closer. according to the, uh, a pop even though i have a pop filter here and this one feels a little a bit more filter. distant i'm no not going to get any uh plosives um coming through there and i'm not going to um stand like this which stand or okay so that's a level thing actually so i'm going to drop that down a little bit let's play that back. baby according to the x split v u meter uh, is that uh well a i'm not going to get any uh no. a pop even though i have a pop filter here I'm not going to I did one I'm using here okay. with the pop yep. filter. It's the one inch condenser jobby. I use minus 54 and then peaking about minus 15, 12 maybe Listen according here. to the X split. Dean, minus 12 maybe according to the X split. See, when v I lift my head, meter, it gets quieter. 15, minus 12 maybe according to the X split. V U meter. And that's the, cons that's the consistency thing that I'm trying to uh, avoid, that's a lack of consistency that I'm trying to avoid. When I like look down into the screen and the microphone, it's, you know, it's a little bit louder than when I go up like that. My voice is projecting down instead of out here. Whereas with the shotgun mic that I'm using at the moment, the NTG-1 shoddy above the screen, it like there's virtually no difference. Um, so you'll find that I think the waveform over here should be more, I think it's more consistent. Like, you know, it's hard to tell unless I had like a proper, you know, did a proper control test Those or whatever. Is, um, but, um, stand but like this, which stands on the floor, why which does is it really annoying. Uh, so, yeah, um, so I'm trying the NTG1 shoddy, which is right next to the floor, which is really annoying. Well, I was talking uh, away so, from it completely yeah, there. Um, so, so I'm trying the like this, which yep. stands on the same now, minus 15, minus, oh yeah. It's roughly equivalent. So, uh, yeah, so that's the thing that I want. I basically, when I'm recording stuff, I'm switching between the screen and the camera. I'm looking at the camera or I'm looking down at the screen like that. And the shotgun will be in a better position than this. And it bloody gets in the way too, because I've basically got to hang this over my keyboard. And, and, and like my hand is like tucked under here and I occasionally like, you know, tap it or whatever. And it's really annoying. Um, so yeah, if I can get rid of that stand, that'd be fantastic. So I think the NTG1 on top is better. I'm, I, I stole this from my Tagano microscope um, setup. So I'm going to have to get another one. Because uh, that sounds much better over there. I just did a test with my Tascam uh, DR70 using the internal mics in that, and it's nowhere near as good as the Rode. Um, it's 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 not even close. So yeah, I think I'll probably get another NTG1. Uh, to uh, anyway, l let me know which one you think is better. I know a lot of people like the because uh, I've got a, like a nasally um, whiny type voice, so the, the, the oh, shoddy really doesn't annoying. help it. Prime so this one sounds a bit the hertz or something like that. Deeper, so I'm going to now basier. switch over. I'm using the focus right solar right. position at about position at about eleven o'clock on my. Oh yeah, it's roughly equivalent. So now o'clock on my about the same now minus fifteen, yep. and this was when it was uh, at the lower signal off level because it's it's further away. In fact, yep. this is it here. Anyway, it's further. There you go. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer the boomier? Basier NT1 one inch condenser jobby, or do you prefer the NTG 1A shotgun and possibly more consistency as I move my head like this? Because I've had um, issues with uh, this setup in terms of consistency, and it's kind of bugging me. I think the NTG 1 will fix that. So, yeah, let me know. And I am using the internal. Um, low pass filter on that one too whereas the nt1 i had to use a sure uh you know external low pass filter because the focus right solo doesn't have a scarlet doesn't have a built-in um sorry a high pass filter low cut filter so i was using an external one and that just gets all over the bench and it's kind of annoying so anyway thoughts comments down below catch you next time